Welcome to another episode on Israel My Channel. In this episode, we will talk about Israel's space program and answer the question why Israel is the only country on planet Earth that has to launch satellites over the Mediterranean Sea in the western direction instead of eastern direction. Before we start, I wanted to give a warm welcome to all the subscribers, patrons and regular viewers of this channel. Thank you so much. If you are new to this channel, I will be incredibly pleased if you will find a moment to subscribe to this channel and feel invited to the comments. After every video, your comments and opinions is what we highly value and take into consideration in making the next videos. Okay, let's jump right into it. Israel punches above its weight in space science and exploration as it does in most other arenas. For example, in April 2019, Israel's Bereshit, which means in the beginning mission, attempts to put a robotic lander down on the moon, something achieved only by the United States, Russia and China, and nearly succeeded. You have to say that's not too shabby for a nation of 9 million people. The state of Israel feels to be exceptional in everything it does, and that is not different in the way they approach how satellites are launched. Typically, spacecraft are launched in the eastern direction, from left to right if one looks at a map. Therefore, most satellites move around the Earth in the same general direction as the Earth rotates. Of course, it's not because every country randomly decided to do so, there is a science behind it. The rotation of our planet is not irrelevant and provides significant help for launching satellites. One gets for free a significant velocity 465 meters per second at the equator when launching a satellite due east. Possible launch directions are usually restricted by safety considerations to prevent first rocket stages or malfunctioning rocket from falling on populated areas. In Israel's case, political considerations do not allow space launches in the eastern direction. Also, Israel wanted complete autonomy and the ability for defense demands, so the state of Israel developed its own launching capabilities. Therefore, the country has to launch satellites over the Mediterranean Sea in the western direction, against the Earth's rotation. Such orbits are called retrograde. Launch in low inclination retrograde orbits is highly unfavorable and requires notably larger rockets than for similar eastward launches. That is not the first time, and probably it won't be the last time, when Israel gets away from a difficult situation in its creative way. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Space Station. Crew.